Discover and Relish Khan's Goodness is the theme that guided the 2023 Kariku Khan Festival now in its seventh year. The festival, which has been growing in participation over the years, showcases a variety of products prepared from corn, including cuckoo, cornbread, porridge, cuckoo pois, roast corn, among other dishes. Dexter Lendo is one of the founders and coordinators of this unique event, and he believes that it has earned its place on the calendar of events. Karakou has been known for um, growing a lot of corn in the days. And um, when we, we sat and discussed the whole idea, you know, to do something different, um, the first thing that came to mind was corn, and we had no other choice than to, you know, use that product. Um, you know, in those days, uh, well, uh, probably young and uh, only learning about it, that all, you know, around the island, you know, people used to plant corn because it was a, the, the way of life. It was the food, it was the drink, it was everything corn. And, um, you know, they have it seven days a week. And so, you know, we thought about uh, if we use that product, we can actually, re you know, bring back some memories and have people identify with the past and you know in those days and so that's where it actually uh, came from um, so we decided to go with it and uh, if you realize the amount of products that we have we found that we can actually do so much with corn so that's why we're actually doing a display uh, here today. Lendo says although Kariku is known for growing a large quantity of corn due to the time of the festival the committee had to turn to farmers on mainland Grenada for additional supply in order to adequately cater to patrons. If you know the season in Karakou, it actually runs, we get a lot of rain between May, April, May, June. And so the corn takes about three months to, you know, to, to, to produce and so. So by the time we get on to October, it's a little bit difficult to actually have corn available. So we actually source a lot of corn. But the, the, the plan with, um, with new, um, the uh, Nawasa installing new water system here in Karakou, the plan is to actually work with the agriculture department to see if we can get our local farmers to use a sort of irrigation system so that we can have corn, you know, especially for this time of the year. But most of our corn is actually coming from Grenada. Dolly from Vermont, USA, and Chase from New Mexico, both visitors to the island, were fascinated by the event and how tasty the dishes were. Well, we've never been to one, and so we came in uh, two hours early because we didn't remember what time it was. But it's a lot of nice people. It's uh, wonderful food. We've had over half of the things now. And we really, really have enjoyed them. So, which of, of the foods that you ate that you're really happy with, all prepared from corn? Oh, yes. Um, my, well, my husband's waiting for the corn soup. And I, I'm waiting at, for that as well. I haven't had it yet, so. So, is, is this an event that you would come back to another time? Oh, absolutely. All of those, it's, it's vibrant. You know, and uh, everybody joins in and, uh, you know, there's people from all over the country, uh, different countries, and uh, I like visiting with people like that. So, and all the natives are awesome. They've helped us out. They've uh, shared us with whatever they had over there, and it's just, uh, they're very helpful, and I've really enjoyed that. So, I... I hope it really comes back next year too. I'll be here. Uh, I've had a couple of things before, uh, so I tried some new things today, like the uh, pork stew and the two different cornbreads that I haven't had on the island before. And they were great. They were awesome. So, is the corn fest something that you would like to come back to an extent? Yes, and I will be back next year, so I will be back. I got to make it an annual event now. The day's event, which began in the early hours of the morning of October 29th, was held at the grounds of the popular Footprint Bar close to the Lauriston Airport. It featured performances by Mr. Golden and a number of Karikou's cultural traditions, including string band music and maple dance.